Here we go. Oh, did they tire to one of the? Yeah. Holy. Abby. Not her. Are they about to give us this choice of whether or not we want to kill her, or are they just gonna make- it? If they give us the choice, it'd be fucking hilarious. I don't really like how this is going, though. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Okay. Okay. Holy shit. 
This is really how it's gonna go down? Bro, there's no way. She was just strung up there like that, and then just took all those stabbings. And then it's just like, I'm good, <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! With your adrenaline kicking like that, you've been stabbed so many times! Dude. Get the fuck off me. I feel like hit her after the second punch.
drinking. Coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm back. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try.
so that's it. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't really like the ending. Um, I guess my overall thoughts? Gameplay was fantastic. Stealth is co great. Combat was great. Uh, graphics are beautiful. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I did have fun playing the game. You know, the weapon customization was brilliant. The weapon diversity was brilliant. I liked all that kind of stuff you got in there. And I liked even in the fact when you were playing as Abby, you got different kinds of weapons. Instead of a bow, you got a crossbow. Instead of a... Um, a bolt action rifle, you got a semi automatic. You know, I do like the fact that you got some variety in these things. Uh, I like how you got the hunting pistol in, as Abby. You know, I, I really liked a lot of those aspects. And at the end, you get the semi automatic machine gun, or no, the um, silent s s sub machine gun. That was really cool, too. Um, overall, I think I. I disliked how some of the AI worked. The AI was really frustrating at times. The dodging system was terrible. Terrible. And there was a big over-reliance on that in a couple spots in the in this game. Because it never registered as well as you would want it to. Um, other than that, I, I mean, I dislike that you play half the game as Abby. I mean, you spend the game... You spent the entire first game as Joel traveling with Ellie and you're doing all this work and you fall in love with both those characters. That's why I was super excited about the second game, right? You get to explore what happens. I already kind of knew Joel would die, right? I, I knew that was going to happen. It, like, it, it was kind of expected, at least for me. Um, and I was really expecting, you know, when she died, but obviously she's killed by Abby. I'm like, well, shit, now we got to hunt and kill Abby. I want to kill Abby and her companions. And you do that. And then you flip it, and you're like, okay, now you're playing as Abby for the second half of the game? I don't want to play at Abby at that point. If you wanted me to like Abby, you should have had it so you started with her and played with her throughout the full game, but then you would have also contradicted yourself because then you would have wanted to do nothing but play as uh, Ellie the whole time. Like, why am I not playing as Ellie or Joel? This is stupid. I'm playing as this random character I don't know. But it, So, yeah, when you do that, it just... They shot themselves in the foot by introducing Abby as a playable character because you couldn't do it at the beginning because you would sit there and wonder what happened to Joel and Ellie. And then, you know, when she kills Joel, you'd be pissed off and you're like, well, it's about fucking time I get to see these characters that I've come to love. And they sold this game as a revenge story, but you're really playing... You're not, you're not doing all of the revenge, which is frustrating. You know, what happens... Now, to everyone, it's such a bittersweet ending. It's not the ending I wanted at all. And it's like, I know it's not, like, catered towards me, obviously. But, like, the fact that, what, out of all of this, Jesse has a meaningless death. And out of, like, all of Abby's companions, the only one I really actually started to fall in love with was Manny. And so what happens to Manny? Manny just gets killed like that, too. Tommy loses an eye and has a bad limp, and now him and Maria are gone, and they're not... They're not going to be a thing anymore. Jesse's killed like that, like I said earlier. And then Dina just up and leaves because Ellie's having severe PTSD. Like, what the fuck? You literally leave it so everyone is unhappy. And at the end of it, Abby still gets away with it. She still gets away with it. And that's bullshit. That is utter bullshit to me. Because I really do feel like it's not satisfying. The first game ended, and I was like, damn, that was so good, I wanted more. It wasn't satisfying in a way that... Uh, or, it was unsatisfying in a good way, because I wanted more. I wanted to play more. This one ends in a, in a way that's so unsatisfying, I'm like, what the fuck was that? It's a completely different s the feeling I just got given there. Um... I really dislike how much you play as Abby. I really do think that hurts the game, and it felt like fluff. There's a lot of parts of this game that felt like fluff, that didn't need to be there. Areas were longer than they had to have been. Uh, you run into enemies that don't make sense that are in there. It just felt like it didn't belong. Characters are seemingly gods in moments, and then, you know, next are shown to be complete weak, weak, weak weaklings. Like, I don't understand. Abby was sitting there tied to a post for who knows how long, right? Then gets stabbed consistently and sliced consistently, but then it's like, I'm about to yeet this person. I know Ellie's hurt at the same time, but again, 
I don't care how much adrenaline you have going in you, no one's going to be able to recover from that. Not like that. And not be able to fight like that. You're going to be weak. Especially if you get stabbed in the joint between your shoulder and your and your arm. It's going to hurt like hell to move. But, I don't know. I think there's a lot of moments. Especially since when you finally catch back up to both parties after day, Seattle Day 3. That you just the, the game decides, oh, you're going to play as Abby and not Ellie? Are you kidding me? And then you have to spend that time hunting Ellie? What? No. I, no, no. Just absolutely not. Absolutely not. That was such a middle finger. I I couldn't handle that. It just felt like there were moments where this game was just giving you the bird. Like, fuck you, alright? And, I don't know. Joel's death wasn't... It was it was bittersweet. He didn't get any sort of revenge. No, There was no redemption there. He just, boom, killed, that's it, it's done. Ellie didn't get her revenge. Ellie still doesn't solve her PTSD issues. Ellie also uh, loses everything, and a character we love is left just broken. What is there going to be a third game discussing how broken Ellie is? Like no, and then it's I just I don't I feel extremely unsatisfied by this whole game. The first half, I would say, was very good. The first half of this game was very, very good. I w as I was discussing it with people I knew, I was like, the first 15 hours of this game, easy, easily 9.5 out of 10. Easily. And then the moment you switch to Abby, it's like, alright, well, how long is this going to go on? And it kind of goes down as it goes in. I would say 8.5 out of 10, but still good. Still very good. And then, the moment you confronted Ellie, the moment, it was like 6.5. No way. Like... I can't justify giving it higher because you're hunting the people you love. Um, it, it, it was frustrating. It was very, very frustrating. This whole game experience, like I said, it was very, very frustrating. Um, I, I can't help but feel very unsatisfied. You know? I even with the end at Santa Barbara, it just doesn't make up for it. That part was fun, it was interesting, and then bam, like I said, you let Abby go. And I know there's the whole thing, well reve what's revenge gonna get you, you know, even if you kill this person or do this or that, oh, you're still you're still not gonna feel like you did anything. Like uh you're still gonna feel upset about it because Despite getting your revenge, what does that solve? What does that accomplish? I understand that. But, like... I, I, it's like... That was ho Ellie's whole thing. Was to get revenge. Like, I'm sorry. But that's what it was. I did also feel like that wasn't a good redemption. You had a part where Ellie and Joel were done. Were done at that last flashback. And then we get... Nothing to say that they solve that later on. Whereas, like, they get a, I, I will try to forgive you kind of thing, right? I will try to. And that was like, yeah, cool. Ellie's going to try. But it doesn't feel like it was enough time and enough effort to really convince Ellie to be like, they just killed Joel, I need to do it. Because if Ellie was truly upset about this, the way she showed herself, if Joel was killed like that, I think she would sit there and be like, well, good. But then it's also the idea of like, well, maybe that, you know, she was mad at him, but she didn't want him to die kind of thing. But still, I just think there wasn't enough reconciliation between the two to justify Ellie going out and killing everybody just to, you know, do that. And it just, it felt very unsat. I think that's the biggest thing. I felt very unsatisfied. If I have to rate this on a scale to 10, Right now, just with my quick thoughts after finishing the game without having anything written down and having time to let it all sink in, all that, my, my rating is definitely going to be 6.5 out of 10. That's the best way I could describe it. There, It was very, very unsatisfying at that end. Um, and not in a good way, like I said. But you know what? I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I had a lot of fun doing it, at least for the most part. Um, yeah, and, you know, I will see you in the next game that I, I end up doing. I don't know which game that'll be, but I will be continuing The Last of Us, uh, the first one, walk.
I'll be doing The Last of Us original walkthrough still, or playthrough, and then I'll be doing Assassin's Creed Atlantis as well, um, which is Assassin's Creed Odyssey Atlantis DLC. I want to do that, and I'll eventually do The Witcher 3, and I'll probably be doing this stuff in between, um, I'll, I'll be doing it in between Valhalla, probably, just kind of fill in some walkthrough, uh, some playthroughs. But with that, you know, I hope to see you all in the next video. Um, tomorrow, which today is as of recording, it is a Sunday, and so tomorrow will be just a random gameplay. And um, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.